Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing, for commenting, for liking and for sharing my videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. And if it's your first time, welcome to my channel. My name is Daphne and make sure that you subscribe if you're not subscribed and also make sure that you click the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on the videos on this channel. So welcome to Monday Prayer and um, special thanks to the lady who sent me these prayer points. Um, today we want to pray for abundance of mercy and grace. Um, as Christians, we've been called to help each other, to carry each other's burdens in life. And today, we want to help each other carry each other's burdens. And I want to pray for abundance of mercy and grace over your life. I don't know what situation you are in at the moment, what season you are in, but there's mercy and there's grace in abundance for you in this season. There's grace for you. Grace in the sense that there is empowerment. Grace in the sense that there is power to help you to go through that season. There is power to help you to walk through, to run through, or to crawl through. And also mercy. We need God's mercy in certain seasons. We need His mercy and His compassion. The Bible tells us that the Lord is compassionate on whomever He is compassionate on. But today we want to pray that you are one of those people that God has compassion on. Because it's like a favor, this compassion, and you are chosen for that compassion and today we want to pray that you be chosen for that compassion not because of who you are not because of what you do but because of his name because of who he is the compassionate and loving God so let's just pray hallelujah God Almighty we honor you we bless your holy name you are God and there is no other God Lord we just worship you today this morning and we just thank you for our lives thank you for the plans that you have for our lives thank you even for making us to wake up this morning Thank you for your mercy and your grace that is upon our lives. Even your word, oh God, says that your mercies are new this morning. Father, we want to thank you for these new mercies upon our lives, oh God. But Father, today I supplicate on behalf of your people, oh God, on behalf of this person, oh God, watching this video today. God, today we are asking for your mercy, abundance of mercy, abundance of grace, abundance of power, oh God. Lord God, show this person your mercy by the power of your spirit. Show them your grace, oh God, by the power of your spirit. Empower them, oh God, I pray. Empower them with your mercy. Empower them with your grace, oh God, as they walk through this life, as they walk through this season, oh God, help this person by your spirit, oh God. They don't deserve it, oh God. It's not because of what they are doing. It's not because of who they are, but it's because of who you are, oh God, that we ask of this mercy that we ask of this abundance of grace increase oh god increase 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 your grace increase your power increase your mercy oh god let it multiply upon this person this we pray and ask in the name of jesus the name above every name father you said when two people agree on something on this earth it will be done for them oh god father we are agreeing father for your mercy we are agreeing and in unity father for your grace by faith we ask this oh god in the name of jesus the name above every name father let them see that it's not because of their own power but it's because of your power it's because of your spirit that you're able to do things that you're able to shift things that you're able to walk through situations oh god that no man can walk through father this we pray in the name of jesus the name above every name father we have no other power no other god that we can ask no other powerful being but you are the most powerful you are the most high you are the all-knowing god you are the creator of all things oh god this is why we come to you oh god for there is no other god there is no other power oh god you are god and father this is why we come to you oh god we come to you boldly oh god asking for this mercy and this grace and i thank you for abundance of mercy oh god i thank you for this abundance of grace oh god that you're giving this person that you're giving your child oh god whom you love oh god i thank you in the name of jesus the name above every name father I even pray father that you increase the same mercy and this same grace upon this person's family oh god upon each and every family member in their life even upon those around their life father this i pray in the name of jesus the name that is above every other name god we thank you in jesus mighty name thank you holy spirit power of god thank you for your mercies lord jesus and we love you with all our hearts all our minds all our strength and all our soul in jesus name amen and amen
Amen. Amen. God is so good. God is so wonderful. I just feel the anointing and the power of God and His grace is truly abundant. And His grace, you begin to see His power in your life. You begin to do things that you didn't, didn't know how to do. Because when there is grace, there is also wisdom. There is also this knowing and this understanding. So you begin to do things and be, begin to be able to have strength and ability and skill to do things that you were not able to do before, to go where you were not able to go to before, to walk through places and situations that you were not able to do before because of the mercy and the grace of God. And it's important that you depend on that mercy. Depend on the grace of God. Don't depend on your own power. Because you see, we can do so many things in our own strength, but that can make us weary and tired. But when we rely on the mercy and the strength of God, we will always, always overflow from Him. Because it is in abundance compared to our own strength and our own grace. It cannot compare to His. So God bless you, and I'll see you on Wednesday for Bible study. Make sure that you tune in. Take care. Bye. A copy of my latest book, Incorruptible Beauty, on Amazon, Kindle, and iBooks.